Hello, I'm Marnie Brooks. In this edition of Out of the Box, we're going to take a look at an IBEW electrician who also works in advertising. You won't see his work on television or hear it on the radio, but you do see his craft every day in places like restaurants and retail shops. Michael Hall of IBEW Local 34 in Peoria, Illinois is a neon sign craftsman. Recently, he opened his doors to our Our Power cameras. I started doing neon work right after a couple of the old guys that were here forever retired in about 85, so about 85, 86, something like that. He makes neon signs and loves every minute of it. His craft has been around since the early 1900s, but he puts a new spin on it. We try to take pride in our work. We'll lose some work because the customer just uh, either can't afford it or they don't want to spend that kind of money and just don't stop to realize what that sign costs them over the years of service. If they want a sign that's going to last, then they should, then they should choose the neon. I have a sign that uh, was made in the 50s and I repaired a piece of glass on that sign right here in Pekin, Illinois in 1985 or 86 and that sign has never been touched for 20 years. The colors may have changed, but the basics remain the same. This process has not changed in 100 years. Uh, they've tried to make machines and molds and jigs and what have you for glass and just it never never seems to work out. It always seems you, you, you still have to have the person behind the fires doing the work. Paul starts every project with a design that's first created on paper, measuring it carefully so it connects perfectly. I thought we'd make a, uh, the word, the abbreviation of IB, uh, International Brother Electrical Workers this morning. Just kind of lay out the lettering. What I'm doing now is gently starting to heat this glass. You heat it at 360 degrees around the tube until it starts softening up. After the tube is pulled away from the flames, Hall blows into it, making sure it doesn't collapse. It's actual surgical tubing. Every letter is done the same way. Hall matches them up to the paper design. I've burnt myself and cut myself, but the best part was when I cut myself and then burned it so that it carterized the uh, wound. And every IBEW electrician knows it's very important to safely dispose of toxic waste. If we don't put any of our uh, fluorescent or neon tubes in a dumpster anymore, we, we, we recycle all that mercury out of them so it doesn't go into the environment. Before each letter is complete, Mike makes sure it doesn't have any leaks. The welds all have to be leak free because it's almost impossible to get back in there to them at a later time and repair them. When they get the okay, he connects them into one piece, but they still look like individual letters. What I'm going to do is continue welding this from the right to the left so that I keep my spacing. So I'll cut this E and join it to the IB. Once the letters are connected, he vacuums them out. What we're doing is, is tying this uh, neon to the vacuum pump to remove all the impurities inside the glass. So now what I'm doing is striking an arc through a partial vacuum, and I'm literally heating that tube up from the inside out so as to expand it and help it release all the moisture and the ambient air and the, just the dirt and dust and, uh, that's in the general environment on an everyday basis. The tubes are then heated again, sending more than 250 milliamps and more than 18,000 volts blistering through. Once the tube heats up enough, I put a, a grease pencil on it that starts to burn at a certain temperature and that'll tell me when that glass is up to 500 degrees. The glass then expands as it bakes. And then backfill it with the argon gas and get it right exactly where we need it. And then we can fire it up, make sure it works before we pull it off. There we go. The final touch is a coat of paint, making the letters pop out, leaving a clean, classic finish. 
there we have a, a red, white, and blue <laughs> IBEW. He's a neon sign maker. He's an IBEW electrician. He loves his job and takes care of his customers. You have to make sure that this is going to last for the customer. It's very easy to see that Michael is very careful and takes tremendous pride with every sign he makes. His skill as a journeyman for more than two decades is a testament to the IBEW Apprenticeship Program. This has been Out of the Box. I'm Marnie Brooks. See you next time.